Right guys, welcome to the short If Extreme tutorial. I'm Cam Hawkins. You might know me from the Trading Up podcast or YouTube channel. Uh, I'm over here today telling you guys about stuff that I don't use in If Extreme. And now, why am I telling you about stuff I don't use? Simply because I've got a course where I teach my members stuff that I do use, and there are only certain number of things that I use on FX Streamer. And with just a little bit of knowledge, some strategies, tactics, you can pretty much create whatever you want in terms of a trading robot or semi-automated trading robot. Now, what I what I'm going to talk about today is the first thing. So I'll try and do a series of these, release them on a regular basis. Um, so the first thing is one of the things I don't use and I've never used. I'm going to teach you how it works as well is the change status to thing at the bottom of pretty much every single block. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how this thing works. If you've ever been looking at it and going, what on earth is it, how does it work? There's no instructions around it. Uh, I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show you in this video how it works and we're gonna do a little demo, okay? So to start off with, uh, I've got a couple of blocks here. So the way, let's just tell you first of all how it does, what it does, and then we'll do a demo of how it works. So to start off with, to get it to work, you tick on that, and then that activates this field. Doesn't look like it does, but it actually does. So in this field, you can type whatever you want. Now, whatever you do type into this, something will happen. And what I'm gonna show you here is, uh, I'm just gonna do a test. It's gonna say test, we go update, okay. So what this means is next time this block passes on a positive, uh, we're going to say, we're gonna print the word test on a price chart. So where are we gonna print that? Let me show you. Okay, so here we are in a price chart. So this has got a, uh, an EA that's been created and an FX Dreamer running on it. And what you're gonna see is in the bottom corner here, you've got the spread 60, 70, 80, whatever, uh, and all this other information. Now this can be turned toggled on or off in FX Dreamer. By default, it's on. Now what this does, right, so I typed in, what did I type in the word test? That will update the status here. So you see this thing here, and let me just see if I can do a little arrow so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this down here. So that word there, working, will update to whatever word you say on or type into that change status to. So you're changing the status, and you see there the word status, you're changing that to whatever you want it changed to. So the reason you do that is simply because you wanted to give yourself information that your EA has gone and done something on the chart, and I suppose it's, you could use a comment block or you could use this. So this is another way to do it without using a comment block. So guys, that's simply what it does. So let's have a look at a demonstration. What I'll do is I'll chuck on, uh, chuck in an EA. We'll do an EA. We'll do an EA with this working to show you exactly how it works. Okay. So in this example, um, we've taken. We're going to take this out. Actually, we're going to get rid of that. So we just unticking it means it's not going to work. So they're saying once per bar. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to put it here okay so we're going to tick that for the this condition which is one moving average is above the other so let's type in um above okay so that's for that and then this one here uh we're gonna we've got it set it below okay so that's set it below so we just save that project we jump into uh, metatrader and let's test it out okay so we've got our change status 2.1.0 ea there uh, and we're just gonna go okay, so that's now running on the chart. So see this, straight away it says waiting for tick, then it quickly flicked to below. Okay, so what was the condition that we had? Okay, so the condition was, and I've just put these ind indicators on here as well, so the condition was, is the five moving average, which is simple moving average, which is here, is that below the 20 simple moving average, which is there? So it is below, you can see here it's clearly below, and we've got that status set to below. So when these flip to above, and what I might do is try and find an occasion where they are above, uh, we should see that update to say above. So let us um, let me see if we can find a chart with where they're above. Okay, I'll work that away to do it. So um, you can see here that it's below, and if we just change the time frame, this is gonna show us where it's above. So if we, uh, if we change the time frame uh, to one where we've got it above, still says below, keep looking, it still says below, I'm sure we've got an above here somewhere. Let's go the one minute, there we go, above, okay. It jumped up to above. So that's how it works guys, it's pretty simple, um, but very confusing if you're just looking at it and you've been looking at it for years going, wonder what this thing does. Okay folks, stay tuned for more videos like this where I walk you through things that I don't use on FX Streamer. If you do wanna see things that I do use on FX Streamer, then head over there to tradingnut.com or there's a link underneath this video and I've got a full course there as well as a free training and a free robot that I built as part of uh, FX Dreamer as well. All right guys, head over there. We'll see you on the other side.